Welcome back to La Magui's Travel and we are here at Disney Springs today. We're gonna be doing a little walk around, look at some stores, look at some merch. Uh, we might dine at one of the restaurants here, maybe homecoming we're thinking about. Let's see if we're able to uh, get in and uh, make reservations. So let's see today what we find and again just spending a nice afternoon on a saturday afternoon here at disney springs all right let's go have fun at disney springs come all with right us. come and join us hey i just got this new uh vera bradley vera bradley mask um here um i'm looking we're looking for something that will fit my face because you know, i have a larger face but uh, as you can see here and i got a nice solid color and uh they, they come with the you can purchase the filters and insert them on here so it looks looks pretty good They're very comfortable so i recommend you guys uh if you have a chance uh, they have the Vera bradley store and they do have masks with the patterns for the women and then they also have um all patterns uh, solid colors for the guys um i just wanted to show you this is a color pattern that magnus got right here and then i also wanted to show you um solid purple And then also I wanted to show you guys uh, this kind of light pinkish, different color purple. <laughs> Magenta. But um, yeah, so that's what uh, that's what Mavis picked up. So like I said, these uh, these masks really are good, very comfortable. I highly recommend. Them. All right, here we're gonna eat some. Uh, from a pre-appetizer before hopefully getting into homecoming uh, we got the um, poutine but instead of fries we got the latin flavor which has a fried yuca the black beans and the mojo pork so we are about to enjoy this right now and i'm going to try this yuca poutine let me see i love yuca already but let's see delicious the, like the the mash on it and the uh, pork is very soft and the beans are like really good with that gravy on it mm, perfect taste I like it all right I'm gonna go ahead and taste it now get some yuca some pork in here here we go Mojo pork is very, very soft. There's like a lime juice over it. It's delicious with the fried yuca and the beans. It's great. Look at that. Mmm. That looks really good. Mmm. So this will hold us off until our uh, homecoming uh, reservation. All right, we try to get into uh, World of Disney, but the line is super long. It wraps around all the way towards the bus the buses? stop. Yeah, the yeah. buses. It's like I've never ever seen it this busy. Of course, it's a Saturday, so unfortunately, we're gonna have to come back just to go in there. Yeah. But just to get uh, Halloween merch, it's okay because we're annual pass holders, so we can show you guys the merch anyway inside the park. So we really don't need to go to World with this just to show you guys yeah. that. Maybe later on we'll try it again, but right now it's way too long. Yeah. And it's too hot right now. As you can see, I'm already beginning to sweat. It's a little too hot for us to wait in that line. It's too much. All right. Well, let's go to. Uh, let's try to try co-op. Yeah. It's another favorite, one of our favorite Disney stores here. Yeah. So let's let's go. try and see if we can get in there. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. This is a cool shirt. We're in co-op right now, so we made it inside. We only had to wait about 10 minutes, which is not that bad. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. <laughs> but we're looking inside, and there's some cool merch over here. There's some cool for the ladies. They're very fashionistas. Just a few reminders. There's a pretty Mickey shirt at all times, except with when uh, some purple. Or drinking while stationary. Clean your hands often and thoroughly. Also some Cover your mouth and nose when 
coffee. What do you call these again? I forgot what you call them. I think they're called spirit jerseys. The spirit jerseys. Yeah. This is a, a, like a purple. It's really pretty, the spirit jersey. Mm -hmm. What does it say on the back of it? Walt Disney World. Nice. And it says 1971 in the front. Nice. Like retro. Yeah. Oh, the young ladies are like the flash shirts. This is cute too. My daughters can rock something like this. I couldn't. But... Oh, this one's cool. Look at this one. This one has the Epcot design. Yeah. The uh, the prisms. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It's very cute. Oh wow, these are some cute like gold or Bronx little purses little uh lounge fly so you got the bigger one you have the hat that goes with it you have like the little wrist one really cute it looks like this is like a little diary let me see oh very bling bling <laughs> very pretty yeah, it's like rose gold yeah it's like a rose gold it's really pretty look how it shines mm -hmm. and mickey's wearing pink <laughs> very cute girly colors and this oh look at this this is cute for the hair and it's how much $9.99 little uh, uh, rubber bands for the hair for your ponytails cute very girly I like that very cute one of the new bags here um, with the lounge fly I do like the color and the pattern you see there's me there it's like clean material kind of yeah and it's a new arrival it's this one thin. just came in yeah for your your launch by fanatics. All right. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. I like this setup right here. And they got these new like lavender, if I can say, like a light purple ears. I think these are recently new too. It's got like the little shiny here and it got the little shiny shimmery. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but when you move it, it's kind of shimmers. It's really pretty. Of course, you got the ones that I got the other day, the up ones, and they got this cute, which I like. I'm thinking about getting this one in the future. This little Disney lounge fly has like the different rides. You got Dumbo, Goofy, you got the Pirates, you got the Castle, Space Mountain, you got Minnie, you got the little pair from the Tiki Room, and the Mickey hat. It's very cute. Wow, look at this. They got my bag. I actually got it on Shop Disney, even though they made a mistake, but I'm still getting it. And look at this, how cool. It's like a weird bag, but this is from Haunted Mansion. It's the Ghost Host Lounge Fly bag. Look at the detail, the bow. This is like the dress with the maid skirt kind of dress. Look at the detail on it. You're a big uh, Haunted Mansion fan, so. Yes. I love everything Haunted Mansion. And then you got the little one, smaller one. This is like a miniature one. I guess it's a wrist one. I'm not very good with wrist one because I lose stuff. But this one is so cute. I love the three ghosts. Love it. And look at the socks here for all you people that love socks. And the Look at these socks. These are the, the, paint, the paintings, right? The portraits. Yeah, this is from the stretch room. The stretch room, yeah. Look at how cool. Look at her. That is so cute. And then they got the ears that I got the other day at Animal Kingdom, the emerald green. That does match with the outfit. Plus, look, they have. Let me come here if I can show you. They have this for the ladies that like dresses from Disney. This is the Haunted Mansion version. It has all the characters from the ride right on the dress. Definitely not my size, but this is so detailed, so cute. And on the top of the neck, in the back, you have the, the statues, the uh, bus, the haunted bus. So cool. And then you have on this side, one more thing. This is cool, babe. I like this one. Let me show you a bigger one. This is for the bigger ladies, but they have bigger sizes too. So this is the actual wallpaper of the Haunted Mansion ride. This is like my shirt and my wallpaper ears. This is pretty cool. I think it's cool, it's nice. So check this out guys, for all you Star Wars fanatics like us, 
they have a dress which is all about Darth Vader. Isn't this cool? Look at the sequence. Look at like the mask, the color. Look at that. And look at the bag. It's backless and it goes and wraps around the neck. It is really cute. I know a lot of people will really enjoy it. Again, this is in cool. Look at this, guys. For Halloween, they came out with the Oogie Boogie. It's Oogie Boogie dress. Which is cool. And they have the Sally dress. And I think they're coming out with the sweaters and the ears for Sally uh, sometime later this month. For you uh, Nightmare Before Christmas fanatics, they have the ears. These ears are pretty cool. Let me see if I can grab one. So the back of the ears is Oogie Boogie. And you got Jack. No, actually, these are the kids. I forgot their names. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you got the bat in the front, but this is all about Nightmare Before Christmas. Isn't that cute? And then you got these as well. These are pretty cool too. And you got the loud fly bag uh, to match the ears. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, here we have the uh, Halloween items from Disney. We have the mugs here, the jack-o'-lanterns, you put candles in, you got the cake pops, pumpkin spice, these are like light up frames. Jack Skelton pillows, mugs, hats. Here to keep the coffee warm or any cold drink. Got the awesome frames. Oh, look at this. Look at how cute. And we got a, a Nine Before Christmas uh, snowball. Oh, look at that. It's inside those bats. Got little bats. Yeah. Isn't that awesome, guys? <laughs> awesome. We got and kitchen we, towels. We got some kitchen towels here. And some blankets. And some blankets. All, everything you ever wanted from Jack Skeleton. All right, we have more Haunted Mansion. Here's a nice little uh, frame. The Haunted Mansion looks like a comic book. We also got this awesome to match in shirt well, for, you down. Men, for, your for you men yeah men that are real big fans of haunted mansion very nice we got some paintings over here from haunted mansion oh, and uh here's some postcards what you got there man look at like a little handbag or like a, i don't know how you yeah. put a couple things it's, it's the it's the doom buggy the doom buggy yeah the doom buggy yeah in the front is the father and son and in yeah, the back cool. is the mom yeah, and the like daughter. A little, like a little purse, a little clutch. Yeah. yeah. Really cute. Cool. And there's another portrait here. What a These painting, really what a ride. And this is like those little collectibles that, like a mystery one, you get the box and you don't know what's inside. Yeah, it's a blind box. And look at this little blind box. And look at all the little Character you characters you can get in the blind box. Cool. Pretty cute. Alrighty. I just wanted to show you the last shirt here. On some like a spare jersey. Spare jersey. And the wallpaper and, and I think that ghost, and so I think that can, hiking Yeah, and I think that goes in the dark, so. Alrighty. Awesome. Yeah, also Hunt to Mansion merch. Look how awesome this up painting is. If you guys ever saw the movie, it's the uh, I forget the character's name, but it's him young with his young wife. Every time I watch this movie, I know it's, it's sad. I, the beginning of the movie is so sad for me. That's why I really don't continue watching it, but this is a beautiful portrait. It reminds me of me and Paul when we're at home watching TV. This is me and him, just like that. Just like that. 
<laughs> hopefully. So hopefully we don't get the same sad story yeah. or ending. <laughs> Get our table ready and we should enjoy and, uh, and you'll you get to see the guy you'll get to see what we're gonna eat uh, we'll show you all the, uh, the appetizers and the main course to what we get for dessert so yeah we're excited we yeah. can't wait this is our first time here all right you guys you guys are invited to dinner let's go <laughs> The chef calls uh, Ash. Ash is it? Martin. Ash Martin, I think it is. Or Ash Smith. Um, Ash Smith. Ash Smith. Ash Smith. Yeah. So he used to uh, work for Disney in the '80s, uh, but then he became the personal chef of Oprah Winfrey, and then he actually came back to Disney. Uh, welcome him back. Welcome him back to work with Disney, and that's why it's his homecoming. So they named it. Uh, they named the. The restaurant up around, yeah, over the homecoming. So it's a nice uh, little uh, fun fact here. So really good. So far, we're enjoying it, and uh, we just ordered our main courses, and uh, you guys get to see what it is in shortly. All right. So we're going to try our the hush puppies right now. So go ahead and uh, let's have Magnus have the first taste. Right, let me put one for you. And let me put one for me. And I guess I'm going to... That's a nice size. Pretty yeah. big hush puppy. Look at this thing. <laughs> So I'm gonna, we're gonna dip it in this like cranberry or? This is like a grape jelly, so I'm gonna try that first. Mm. And I'm gonna try the, it's like a, like a buttery I sauce. think it's like a butter spread. Yeah, let's open up Oh my god. Oh, this is so good, so like moist and in your mouth. It's not hard. Like the normal hush puppies I've eaten before. And in the so grape good. and in the grape jelly with these are also great. It's like a salt taste. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is really good. Mm. Really sweet. Recommend to get the hush puppy guys. It's awesome.
humongous. This is like the breaded steak with the mashed potatoes and the green beans, but I didn't expect it to be so big. But let me taste the first bite and see. A little bit of mashed potato with the special gravy. Oh my God. This is not like any steak I've ever had. It melts in your mouth. It's soft. Mm. And the gravy has like a little kick at the end. Very southern style. Very homey. I love it. Alright, so I'm getting my first taste of this mashed potatoes with the gravy. Mm. The gravy is excellent. So creamy with the mashed potatoes. And I'm going to take a bite of the fried chicken. banana cake with cream cheese cream cheese frosting <laughs> this is a monster size cake and it's served with a nice vanilla bean ice cream it's three layers and fruit gastrique which is I guess the sauce here yeah it's like a caramel looking sauce they said they normally have a smaller version but they're out of that one so the only one we were able to taste today which is fine for two but it's still too much cake three layer cake for us today all right this is our dessert yes, guys we're gonna enjoy it all right Mavis, go for your first taste oh my god this thing is so big it's exciting to taste it but it's scary let me see i think we're gonna have to put it to the side let's flip it okay it's flipped flip the cake. <laughs> all right let me taste a little bit of this ice cream here we go taste the um, the pineapple and the banana? Yeah, I, I just tasted a little piece of pineapple right now. I can taste the banana like at the end. Oh. Mm. It's really good. And the frosting with the cream cheese is really good. It's a little sweet sweet because of the caramel. But it's good. I've never had anything with banana and pineapple and cream cheese at the same time. This is really good. It's true what they say about this cake. I like it. Southern. Very good. You can taste the banana at the end. It's a nice uh, nice ending to our meal. Mm. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed the food as much as we did. Alright guys, so we just finished eating at homecoming. I just wanted to give you guys a quick summary of what we did. Uh, we started out... Take off my mask for a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. Nobody's around. Oh, We're yeah. away from everybody. Yeah, so sure. Let me go ahead. Nobody's around. Um, go ahead. What, what, what is our summary? <laughs> well, our summary is we actually had a really great day today. A good day overall just walking around Disney Springs. We haven't done that in a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also uh, went into co-op. We saw a couple of other stores that we were able to get in. Uh, we didn't share everything that we saw, but we shared some of the content. But of course, the main reason why we were here today because we wanted to try some of the restaurants, one of the restaurants. So we actually were able to get into Homecoming. And let me tell you guys, Homecoming is amazing. Uh, yeah, but Homecoming was delicious. As you saw, we ate a little pre-appetizer. It was a poutine uh, yuca fries. It was the fried yuca set of actual french fries. It was yuca fries with a mojo pork. That was so good. Um, I think we should have not eaten that <laughs> because the uh, appetizer of the hush puppies at Homecoming. Oh. Oh man, that was delicious, but so they give you so many as an appetizer. Yeah, and it's really good. It was like no other type of hush puppies I've ever had before. It was like very soft and moist, 
and then the, that that like uh, cranberry or strawberry sauce, jelly yeah, kind jelly. of sauce they had so was good. really good with it. And they also had another one, like a butter cheese or something. I really didn't like that one too much, but the sweet one was really good. And then the um, I had the uh, breaded steak. Mm -hmm, the country um, fried steak. The yep. country fried steak. And you saw, and I had the fried chicken with the um, with the mashed potatoes and the donuts. So good. I dipped the chicken in with the with the syrup, so it made it even more uh, sweet on the chicken. So it was uh, it was delicious. And then we also did uh, we also had the uh, the robin. What was the name of the the robin cake? The hummingbird. The hummingbird. The cake. Hummingbird. Cake. <laughs> robin, robin cake. I know it's a bird name. Yeah. So the hummingbird. the hummingbird cake was really good. Um, it was a it is, it was huge. So we couldn't finish it all. We took it home. It is a three layer cake. It had banana and pineapple, pineapple flavor, saw, yeah. and then had that cheese, um, cheese uh, frosting. Cheese on frosting. Oh, yeah. it was really and good. And with the vanilla bean ice cream. So it was all, all together was a success. One thing I forgot to mention, guys, about the most important about homecoming restaurant, and this is Magnus and Future Magnus, before I forget, the service was excellent. We had, our server was Mike, and Mike was excellent. He gave us a little bit of history about the restaurant as it was our first time there. And he also uh, gave us great suggestions on the food. Uh, he did some great cocktails. He, he suggested some great cocktails for me because I love cocktails. So if you ever go to homecoming, please look for Mike or ask for Mike as your server. He is amazing. And also props up to not only Mike, but also to Alan, the uh, restaurant or manager on duty. He was going around the tables and he took the time to come around to our table and talk to us for a good five minutes. And he was very nice, pleasant. And, uh, um, you know, he also was glad that we were there. So it was really nice. So I just wanted to give you folks some information on that. And again, Mike, if you're watching, excellent service. We will be back just because you gave us that outstanding service. And I hope you will uh, continue providing that great service for everyone else. I hope to see you soon. Well, we're gonna about, we're about almost done here. We're gonna walk back. We're gonna enjoy some of the nightlife here and then uh, we'll see you guys uh, later, all right? So hope you guys enjoyed our travels uh, today. And until then, we'll see you on the next La Mambi Travels. Bye.